Business has finally picked up and I'm taking you on the journey of a whole bunch of custom orders. Hey friends, my name is Kristen with Shifting Roots and I help gardeners in cold climates grow vegetables and flowers with ease. But for this series, which I call Backyard Business, I am taking my flower growing skills and I'm starting to sell on a small scale. So that means I grow cut flowers and I arrange them in hand ties and jars. I'm also doing some weddings and I'm taking you with me and showing you how I'm maximizing the space I have and making a little bit of a side hustle income with my backyard cut flower garden. You can follow along in the playlist down below. I'll also link it up in the description. Coming out in October, I'm going to have a course for beginner cut flower growers who wanna start selling their cut flowers on a very small scale. So watch for that. I'll have lots more details coming in the next two months. So it's really exciting that my business is finally getting to the point where I don't have to hustle quite so hard. I mean, I still got to hustle. It's still the first year of business, but I'm finally starting to get some orders where people just out of the blue message me and say, Hey, can I order something for this day? Here's my budget and we go. So this weekend we had four of those. First of all, I'm getting some buckets of flowers ready for a women's circle who wants to make flower crowns. Then we have a $20 hand tie. I'm also making an order for one of my friends, although I think I'm gonna do a mason jar for her. She didn't specify. And then finally, this one is a freebie, but it is a well-deserved freebie. Um, I met someone who had a lily patch and they wanted to get rid of some of their lilies. So she sent me home with like giant clumps of Asiatic lilies and I've been looking into buying lilies kind of the cheapest I can find them is three dollars a clump so I'm sure I walked away with at least two hundred dollars worth of lilies if not more I haven't counted them so she is definitely getting a thank you bouquet from yours truly and then to top it all off we it's also photo shoot week so what photo shoot week is is um I'm okay with photography but y'all gotta get someone to take pictures of you and not just like pictures where you do the self timer and you know do what you can it's nice to get pictures that like are from a professional photographer they tell your story you can be relaxed you can change it to different outfits and so these are things that i'll use some of them now but i'll actually use them all throughout the winter i'll use them in promotional materials i'll use them in social media like youtube the thumbnails you name it these pictures definitely get used. So crazy week, let's get busy and get those orders ready. So this moment is really bittersweet because this is basically one of the last times I'm gonna walk through this flower garden and have it look really beautiful. Um, we're planning on moving this fall. So this is my garden's swan song. moment when you're working with flowers. Look who I found here. We'll have to get this guy off. So I'm rethinking my strategy for how I'm going to give this to the customer. With all these short stems, it just looks really condensed in that big block bucket. So instead, I'm going to use... Mommy, mommy. Hi, sweetie. I'm Nina Queen. Yeah. I'm going to use these small containers and just give her a couple of them. I think that'll work better. And as usual, don't mind the child sounds in the background. So 
So this might be the craziest way to give a bucket of flowers, but you know what? It works. So we have our tall status in a regular bucket and then each bucket is filled with treats. So we have lots of calendula. We have some radish blossoms, tarragon, globe amaranth. Um, I feel like these will look really pretty in the flower crowns, even if, you know, they're a little bit spent, but I think you'll have that nice texture. So this is anise, I believe. More calendula, and what else? We have some feverfew. So, all of the fever few that I started from seed is gone by now, but this stuff actually self-seeded. So it's nice to have some late stuff. And then I had all of these little Rebecca that I was not sure what on earth I could possibly do with them. So these will be perfect for the flower crown project. And same thing with the lemon balm, like these stems just never got long. So that'll be perfect. And then a little bit of sage. There's more in here than it looks like. Then last step, just to go through, cut away anything that has holes and whatnot. Oh, I see another one here. Get that leaf off. And then our order is complete. So in my business, what I do is around three to four times a year, I have brown photography with Paige here. She runs Blush Brown Photography. And I think it's a really important part of my business because not everyone has an Instagram husband, right? <laughs> and you know, you can do a lot with a self timer, but it's not the same. So Paige, tell us a little bit about what you do. I work with small businesses like yes. you, Kristen, to tell the stories behind the business. So I think it's really easy to post products or post what we do, mm -hmm. but people connect with who we are. So we want yes. to see your kids. We want yes. to know how you became, you know, shifting roots, mm -hmm. right? So it's about telling the story. And um, I kind of pride myself on getting those like authentic moments mm -hmm. with you, those real behind the scenes yep. things. And so yeah, so I work with just small businesses mm -hmm. and, um, and tell their stories. But finding yeah. someone you trust yes. and vibe with is not Absolutely. easy. So like, what would you say about that? Well, I think it takes mm -hmm. time. Work with the same photographer. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on them if the first time that you work together, it's not exactly what you want. I mean, I think back yeah. to our first shoot. Yes. We went clear yes. on brand. We didn't mm -hmm. know exactly what we wanted to do, but I mean, three years yeah. later, I know your colors. Yes. I know what you're looking for. We, I help you with yeah. like outfits, yes. and backgrounds, <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, yeah, so just trust your photographer and communicate with them. So if there's something that you want to do, then just ask them. And mm -hmm. also just trust their vision because I feel like some of the like oh, some yeah. of favorite shots are just yeah. things that I do, right? Yeah, we have a very busy day ahead with all of those orders that I still have to fill and planning for next week's video and crazy flower madness. So let's, yeah, let's get back to flower arranging. Okay, so next up we're making a $20 hand tie. I've got some of the materials out. We're just using some of these dried things like we did in that last bridal bouquet a couple videos ago. Some of these gorgeous, gorgeous asters. I love this color. I need to plant more of these next year. And then some white sunnies, those are the last of those. I had a few of these lovely coral Madame Butterflies open up, so we'll definitely use those. And then I'm not liking Cosmos, but I like these Cosmos. I think they're like a bonbon or something, maybe not a double click, but like they kind of look like it. And then finally finish up with a little bit of this greenery that's kind of red, maybe just to offset it. Okay, I always like putting a lot of greenery in my bouquets so that even though it's $20, it looks like it's pretty substantial and like that would be pretty nice in the vase. And done. So we have $20 hand tie, kind of some peaches and pinks, purples, sort of what she was looking for. Next, we have another $20 hand tie, except I'm gonna put this one in a jar because I know that she's gonna be traveling more than half an hour and I think she'll be happier within it in a jar. She just said like $20, just make me something. And then we also have a thank you bouquet after that. Okay, let's get to it. This is without a doubt the best part of my summer. It like 
gives me life. I just set up my bouquet making table outside. I'm right by my garden. And seriously, it like there was nothing better. This is what I live for all winter. Thank you, bouquet time. So I think we're gonna do another jar for this one. Now, I don't know what this lady likes. This is a person who's totally new to me. So I'm just gonna use what I have and hopefully it ends up being something that she's really thrilled with. Um, for this one, because she gave me so many lily bulbs and it's really gonna save me a lot of money in my flower farm, I'm aiming for something probably like in a 40 to $50 range. That is it. You know, this one I found a little more challenging to deal with. Sometimes sunflowers are a bit tricky and I think what fixed it for me was just at the end, adding these little touches of orange straw flower and I think just sort of tied it all together. So hopefully she likes that. Next up, mason jar arrangement. So these ones haven't been super popular but my friend is traveling an hour and a half home. Sorry, there's like a wasp around me, so I'm just trying not to get stung here. Um, so I'm gonna put hers in this. Now she likes, in her home, I see lots of oranges and warm colors. So I think I'm gonna do something in orange and yellows and browns for her. done. So nice bouquet with some white sunflowers. We've got the orange amaranth, a little bit of goldenrod. Um, I have some of these spidery type of asters in here, a few greens, a little bit of that frosted explosion glass, and just a nice pretty fall arrangement. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Again, if you wanna catch all the rest of the Backyard Business series, I'll have the playlist down in the description. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.